hardcore match, just like the hellacious beating I took last week from the hardcore giant Ron Nimi. Will you get over there and I slapped you across the face one time and yeah, I possess... Oh, what are you doing? Scratching my head, settle down. Ah, down. calm down, Ron. I didn't do anything this time. Now, the fact that the hardcore title is even on the line is unfortunate that Havoc ended up with that horrible neck injury during a training session at the WrestleFlex. But Dagan Briggs... Oh, the, wow. Beautiful doorbuster slam maneuver by David Young. He is one half of the former five-time NWA World Tag Team Champions. This guy is no slouch in the ring. He, no one knew when he was the tag team champion that he could go hardcore, but he had some brutal, brutal battles with New Jack amongst many others up at NWA Wildside. You fans know how we feel about them. So you're gonna see exactly what we do to these guys right here, IPW hardcore style. Now Havoc ended up with that horrible neck injury that put him out of commission. And being the man that he is, he forfeited the IPW hardcore title. And Dagan Briggs stepped in as a true member and a teammate of Havoc from Wrongful Death. And he said he's coming after the hardcore title and he don't care who he's gotta go through to get it. And there you see, Havoc would remember this, the big knife there from Chaos, a multi-time, four or five time IPW hardcore champion who now is in the camp of NWA Florida. That's not as big a deal now as it was a couple weeks ago when this match is going on. And there you see him just tearing into Dagon Briggs like a brutal madman, shades of Abdul the Butcher, who Chaos has defeated in the past. But here you see all four of these guys going at it. Juggernaut throwing chairs in the ring a la Terry Funk from a few years ago where ECW wasn't allowed back in Florida for two to three years. This Juggernaut guy, he wrestles up in Canada, he wrestles over in Japan. He's a big, big monster and should factor in heavily in this match. There's a lot of storylines at play here. You see Juggernaut from ECCW, the NWA affiliate in Canada, and like you said, David Young from Wildside. And you see the hardcore princess at ringside. She was with Havoc in Wrongful Death when he was the hardcore champion. Champion. He ends up with an injured neck, having to forfeit the title, and what does she do? She switches allegiances, jump ship, and here she comes out to chaos. One week later, she's standing at ringside with chaos. This girl's got no loyalty whatsoever. She wants to be where the titles and the glory is. Yeah, well, let's see her try to go after uh, any of these other guys if they win this match. Uh, I don't think any of them are going to want to have anything to do with her considering what just happened. So if Chaos doesn't win this title, it looks like she's out of luck. This match is so sickly violent and a lot of the shots that we really can't show here on TV because of the censors. You can go to IPW-Hardcore.com or ProWrestlingDaily.com, the site hosted by none other than Shan Rosen. You can see some of the most gruesome shots of all time, such as Juggernaut destroying Chaos with that chair shot. Uh, and there you see Seven out at ringside. The brain behind wrongful death she's out here to support Dagon Briggs uh, not that she wouldn't have liked chaos or sorry havoc rather to keep that title and be in this match oh low blow there with the big knife by chaos and juggernaut and these guys mo might both be NWA guys but here's the show there's no loyalty no friendship here when you're going after titles and actually chaos hasn't shown much of any of those qualities lately anyways juggernaut's head ripped wide open and he's bleeding profusely and gets smashed in the back by David Young from NWA Wildside. If you listen to Shannon Rose on 1040 AM on Pro Wrestling this week, you'll hear some of these great stars. Now he's got not only IPW Hardcore Wrestling stars, but unfortunately, he's been getting people from NWA Wildside and all over the country. And you see David Young is now busted open to as well as chaos. Yeah, Ron, there's so much mayhem going on in this match that we can't even describe it all and get our plugs in, which, you know, we have to do. But trust me, fans, we're not ignoring it. We're not trying to ignore this brutality. We were there. We realized exactly what's going on. And there you see shades of Ivan Koloff as Dagon Briggs being choked by the chain there by Chaos. The violence in this match has been taken to a new level. When Juggernaut came down to Canada, he says, you want to see sick? You want to see hardcore? He's been to Japan for IWA. He's went to Korea for a group known as WWA, and he is engaged in some of the most brutal matches in the entire world, and he brought it right here to the Florida WrestlePlex. And Ron, uh, I'm not sure if you've told anybody yet, but joining us here on commentary this week is your good friend, Marcel, even more so. And he'll be here for some great commentary. Great to have you, Marcel. Oh, no problem, brother. The pleasure's mine. What? I didn't hear anything. You don't understand the wrestling mime and the genius behind the booker that put the wrestling mime in here for commentary. All right, Ron, let's see what's, let's see what's coming up here. Oh, oh. my God. Big snap suplex there over two chairs, and Dagon Briggs is hurting. He's the only representative of IPW 
in this match going for the hardcore title. Let's hope he can come back and keep it in the family. One, two, no, broken up by David Young very smartly there. This is not an elimination match. It's one fall to a finish, so David Young had to know that if Juggernaut got that pen, he'd be out of luck. So I hate to say it, but Dagen Briggs owes a great deal of gratitude right there to David Young. Dagen Briggs got to be second guessing himself at this point. Sure, he's got loyalty to Wrongful Death, and he's definitely loyal to IPW Hardcore Wrestling. This kid is about half the size and half the weight of the rest of the competitors in this match, and he has been taking the brunt of the abuse from every one of them, and he is in there fighting tooth and nail for the IPW Hardcore title. Uh, see, David I Young, give this kid credit, he's man. dumped over the outside of the ring there by Dagen Briggs. Richie Rich, the referee, just trying to stay away, told me he didn't want to get blood all over his jersey because he wanted to go out and pick up the ladies at extra innings after this match. And there you see Chaos now being choked by the chain himself. It's actually being draped right across his face, about to tear his nose off. And there you see the wrestling geek, Shannon Rose, getting in as many pictures as he possibly can. And we're back into the center of the ring there. Dagen Briggs in the massive juggernaut. This juggernaut is unbelievable. If you've seen some of the matches he's been involved in, both in Canada and Japan, you wouldn't believe the sickness that this guy is capable of. It reminds me of old matches in Japan with the Sheik and Sabu before Sabu was even big here in America. And the big leg drop with the chair. One, two, three. And there we go, fans. He's kept it in the family. The new IPW hardcore champion is Dagen Briggs of Wrongful Death. And Seven is very happy. But here you see Chaos, the turncoat who went NWA Florida. He was in the big cage match the very next night. And there you see him choking out Dagen Briggs. And I'm sure these two guys will meet again in the very near future, Ron. Watch November 3rd at 8 p.m. at the Florida WrestleFlex. I guarantee you, Chaos isn't through with Dagen Briggs. Both those wrestlers are signed to be here that night. I guarantee you, Dagen Briggs. And there's Von Tankard coming in to the safe of Dagen Briggs. All right, and those two will meet in the main event on November the 3rd at the Florida WrestleFlex. Fans, we'll be right back after this.